Ladies and gentlemen, how's it going? Once again, your boy Neff from Nasdaq Bits, and today I want to do a little review on this voltage checker from uh, QECSKI. I have an older one somewhere around here. My daughter got a hold of it, and it is long gone now. It's probably somewhere in another universe. I swear to God, my kid has this ability to, if she takes it and I turn my back for two seconds, it's just going to be freaking gone. So I want to test this. I got uh, my extension cord over here. I got my supercharged USB charger that will put out, I'm pretty sure, two amps. Um, output three three amps, three amps, 2.1 max for each USB. So let's see what it can do. Plug this in, I got my two primary phones. So unfortunately, I'm recording off of an old, old one and I got one of those cables that has one USB plug that puts out two, three different inputs. I got, I like to dual wield because I like to have one work phone and then one home phone. So I'll have to put plug this in like so. It'll come up, whoop, oh, wrong way. It'll come up and say, yeah, we got five volts here. Plug this beast in, still nothing. Let's get one of these plugged in. Let's get the iPhone plugged in. Check, I plugged it in earlier, checked it out, and I got, oh, geez, that's interesting. Oh, there we go, there we go. Nine, or 0.93 amp, just under one amp. That's what I got before. Now, when I plug this in with this cable and a D-Link extension cable, it was only charging at 0.5, which is interesting. Which is very interesting. I guess uh, the longer the extension cable you use, less power goes through so let's try hooking the two phones up at the same time and see what it says nice nice we jumped up to two amp i was hoping that would happen i got another one of these cables at work but it uh it didn't seem to charge anymore if i plugged in two at a time so that's interesting i can plug in two we'll record the milliamps I'm going to put this on pause and see if I can get that temperature up any higher, 24 Celsius. So this probably isn't the best idea I've ever had, but let's plug in three and see what happens. For science, it's charging. And ooh, we jump to 2.2, which is the maximum output I believe we can reach on this. We're still at uh, under 5 volts, which is good. Temperature is definitely going up, but that's what I'd expect. You got a little button up here if you want to reset. You can see what the kilowatt or milliwatt hour, milliamp hour is. Very nice, very nice. I'm uh, really impressed. Now I'm going to go get some stuff and see what the charging's like. Now when I just leave the two phones plugged in, it seems to fluctuate down from 1.5 to 2.1 interest. All right, so check this out, a USB heater. You can get these things for about $3 shipped from China. Let's plug her in and see what kind of uh, draw this thing takes. Actually, it's relatively powerful warm. No, that's it? Seriously, these things keep, uh, keep pretty warm. That's it. I, I was always under the impression it took an awful lot of energy to uh he to create heat man that is a lot less than i thought it would be and this thing definitely is warm i got my hand on it over nya 0.5 amp i am pretty surprised by that i'm pretty surprised by that if i'm missing something if you guys are noticing something that i'm not please let me know please let me know Next up, let's try some i7 TWS in Canada. We had one of these catch fire recently. Actually, it doesn't even seem to be the unit, it was the cable, but I'm curious exactly how much current comes through here. Not a lot. I don't think that's enough to worry about anyways. All right, so next up, I want to try this vest. This is a vest that has a lot of those heating pads and actually probably only about three of them. And within the pocket is the, uh, is the charger rater. So let's take a look at how many amps and how many watts this thing is pulling down. Oh yeah, I gotta turn it on. Beam me up, Squee. 
There we go. Oh, that's what I was expecting. That's what I was expecting right there. Okay. Oh, it's almost two amps. And I might even consider wearing this thing if it wasn't for the fact I already tore it down so I could see what was on the inside of it. But yeah, at least we got at least three of those ports in there. Interesting. Really interesting. Next up, let's test the dead SSD. This is an HP SSD, which is one thing I'm amazed about. HP would actually think they could make their own SSDs. Who would trust such a thing? I mean, it's HP, right? Now, if it was HP 20 years ago, it wouldn't have been a thing. Not much at all. Not bad. Whoop. All right, now I'm curious. I want to see how much my Western Digital Passport takes up for speed. This is where I keep all my uh, new, my deep fakes of uh, the Queen and Trump going at it. Point two. I'll give it a sec for that to spin up. Good to know. Next up, let's check out my Pebble Hand Warmer. This thing is good to keep you warm on those long nights. 3 watts, 7 amps. Interesting. I wonder if I can find my USB fan, because those things always take a lot of energy. Alright, this is a big fan. Ladies like them big. Am I right, ladies? You can make sure we have the LEDs on. Or not, whatever. There we go. Almost 3 watts. 0.5 amps. 8.8 ohms. Good stuff. Well, that's it for me. Not from that stack. That's like and subscribe if you like this kind of stuff. Always appreciate it. And uh, definitely check this product out if you like what you see here. Have a good one, folks. Take care of each other.